Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I have here another box for a new pen. Yes, I know. This was purchased on September 2nd, but the commission for it actually, I think, uh, I, the, I sent the form in for a commission months ago. I think March or April, maybe April. And then um, I asked for this pen to be delayed by another month or so. This was originally supposed to arrive in July or be commissioned in July, but I said to put it off for another couple of months or to the beginning of September. And the maker left it to literally September 1st. <laughs> so here I am with another pen from Hogtown Pens. I'm really excited for this one. Hogtown Pens uh, is a Canadian maker based in Ontario and I love being able to find other Canadian makers and other Canadians in the fountain pen community. So let's open this up. If I'm graceful enough, I do have to say that this arrived yesterday and it is Saturday and I'm just opening it now. And Terry was like, how did you hold off opening it for so long? And I'm like, well, I was busy. So today I said, I'm going to do all of my chores. I've cleaned the bathrooms, done the bed sheets. I've unloaded the dishwasher and now I can unbox. There we go. Oh, and I love that he has my name written there. Thank you, Karina. And he said, thank you for your purchase. Hope you love the pen. This is the Adelaide model in medium. And the material is Paris in Bloom by Tim Crow of Turned Pen Co. And this says all the best from Terry at Hogtown Pens. So look at that. It's actually nestled in there quite well. And then he included a maple candy. I feel like, what is this? one more note in there oh that's the invoice okay so i don't need that one so let's move these out of the way and zoom in now before i open a pen i'm always a little nervous even though i've seen pictures of the pen i've seen a video of the pen i always get a little nervous because i mean even if you've seen those pictures in that video there's always the question of does it is it going to look as good in person as it does over pictures so let's open this Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that finish is gorgeous. So instead of the usual glossy finish that most pens have, I asked Terry to do his matte satin finish. And I actually want to compare it to the other pen that I've had him, or I had him make for me, which is, here we go. So the first pen that Terry ever made for me was this. This is the uh, On the Edge of Oopsie, which is also by Tim of Turned Pen Co. But you can see how this is the glossy finish and this is the matte satin finish. You can see the difference there. I mean, I don't have the exact, you know, Paris and Blue model and glossy, but I saw a few models of pens at the San Francisco Pen Show with the matte finish and I just fell in love with how it looks. There's a difference in feel like this, the glossy finish, when you rub your hand over it, there's this kind of, it's smooth, but there's a slicker um, kind of glass, is it like kind of sliding across glass? Whereas this, it's smooth, but there's, it's not as slick. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, oh, there's a different feel definitely with the satin finish, but I just want you guys to look at the detail here because I think with the satin finish, the gray definitely stands out, but then there's a little bit of that sheen that comes across in the, the pink and the red in there. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful mix of the colors. And one of the things is when you're choosing a pen and a blank to be commissioned you never know what the end product is going to turn out like but i am so happy with this because i feel like this is a really good mix of all of those colors so this is the adelaide model in medium so the adelaide model is a cigar shape with the um cone shaped or the not the flat ends and i have it with what did I ask for? An extra fine Yovo nib. But oh my gosh, look. And then there's hardly a step between the section and the body. And that just fits beautifully 
in my hand. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'm actually going to go ahead and compare this to other pens in my collection, but I can't get over how that section looks. There's that sheen and the matte finish that you don't get in the glossy and there's different layers to that color. That pink is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think Paris and Bloom, the idea for it was actually, I can't remember who it was. Was it Blue? I cannot remember. Blue on Instagram. Um, but somebody had worked with Tim to create this particular blank. And I'm so, I'm like way off camera here, but I'm so happy with it. Gosh, it is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I was pointing to this, but yeah, this is gorgeous. So stunning, that area. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead and compare it to other pens in my collection. So there is the Adelaide model in the Paris in blue, and then I'm going to um, compare it to the Taper model as well. So you can see that there is a difference in the, I guess, girth of the body, but it is generally the same length. And then I'm going to compare it to a Le Bon 325, which is very big. Compare it to the Esterbrook SD, which I compare all my pen models to. Compare it to a Pelican M605. Another one that I'm gonna compare it to, which was never in my collection before, but a Lamy 2000. And here we go, one last one, if I can fit it in here, is the Sailor Pro Gear. All right, so you can see definitely the difference in sizes in there, and I'm going to actually compare the SD to that because you can see the SD and the Adelaide are both cigar shape, and the SD is maybe like a, a millimeter or two longer, but they have the same shape, and the width of them I feel like is very similar, but I think the SD is just that little bit wider as well. So let's look at these uncapped. So there are all of the pens uncapped and you can see actually the grip section of the Adelaide models, very similar to the grip section. Oh my gosh, Lucy. <laughs> the grip section in the taper medium and the grip section here is actually a little bit longer than on the SD, but it's so smooth between the grip section and the threads and the body that it's something that I'm actually not going to notice too much. It's gonna I feel like it's gonna be very, very comfortable to hold. And then the grip section, I'm looking at it from above the grip section of the Adelaide looks to be a little bit wider. I mean, I don't have a measuring tool to measure them, unfortunately, but I just, gosh, I can't stop looking at that pen. It's gorgeous. And then actually out of all of the pens, it looks like it's about the exact same length as the Taper Medium and all, definitely longer than the Esterbrook SD. But just look at all of those together. And then yes, these are all Yovo nibs and then you've got the Pelican. Actually, these three are all gold nibs. But you can compare it to the length of the other ones and look at the different widths of the grip sections here. The SD, the grip section for the SD is one that I really find comfortable to hold. And I think that comparing to the Adelaide model, I think definitely this is gonna be a very comfortable one to hold as well. Ooh, do they match? I don't always intend for my nails to match and it just works out somehow. So let's look at how much the Adelaide medium weighs. So let's go ahead and weigh this Hogtown Pens Adelaide model in medium. So capped, it is 16 grams. Uncapped, 12, and then that makes the cap four grams. So actually it's quite a light pen. I wanna compare it to you know, the, the weight of the Esterbrook now, I'm just saying that the Esterbrook does have a clip on there and the Esterbrook is 16 or 26 grams and the pen itself is 18 grams. So this is definitely a heavier, heftier pen, but I also look at the overall shape and I do love the shape of this one. So let's go ahead and ink this up. The ink I've decided to use today is Birmingham Pen Co. Terracotta is the from the ink sample vial that's what it looks like and I feel like that would be a really good match for some of the pinks that are in here so let's go ahead and do our writing sample okay so this is the Hogtown ooh, ooh, that's smooth Hogtown pens Adelaide in the medium model that's not the nib size and this is in the 
Paris in Bloom. by Turnt Pen Co. Oh my gosh. And this has an steel number six, Yovo Extra Fine. And this was purchased September 2nd, 2023. Wow, and even the ink is actually really, really nice. So the ink in here, it's currently Birmingham Pen Co. And it is terracotta. Oh my gosh, this nib writes so, so smoothly. Beautiful, wow. Love that. And I mean, it's a Yovo nib, but there are some makers who take the extra time to tune every single one of their nibs, and Terry has definitely done that. And so far, wow. I am in love with this pen. I love the resin and how it came out. I love the matte satin finish. I'm so, so happy with this pen. It feels great in my hand. It's a perfect size, and I love that the threads are not not are not sharp and there is a very smooth transition between the grip and the body which is what I like because my fingers when they're pressing down on the grip section it's not that I have a death grip or anything but by pressing on there if there is any type of step or any sort of irritation, I guess I would say, to those fingers. It makes the whole writing experience very uncomfortable, but also what I like about this pen is that it is very smooth along the body. There's no facets or anything like that. And I have found that, you know, with bigger pens, this isn't really a huge pen. Like for example, the Le Bon 325 is a bigger pen. My Atelier Lusso is a massive pen compared to this, but a smoother body is a much more comfortable much more comfortable experience for this part of my hand. I know Simona had said what this part of the hand is. There's a scientific name for it, but I don't remember. <laughs> I love this. Now, Terry of Hogtown Pens is taking commissions and I think his general timeline is either uh, between eight to 12 weeks and he can, um, he has very, he has different models of pens on his website as well. So I definitely encourage you to check him out. If you are Canadian and looking for a Canadian pen maker, Terry is fantastic, but just, I cannot stop looking at the finish of this pen. Like even in the grip section, like look at the sheen that is coming off that. That's not, it's a little bit of shimmer, but also you get that sheen there that you don't get with the glossy finish. Oh, I am in love with that. Thank you so, so much, Terry, for my pen. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.